A very pleasant good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Big Stone Television. First, before I go into today's broadcast, I want to big up my sponsor, Mr. Gentles, all the way in London, England, who saw it fit to send me my very first remote microphone so that I could attach this to my camera. Thank you so much, Mr. Gentles. Can't you hear the sound? It's so clear now. <laughs> it is with the most deepest of regrets that I have to announce the passing of reggae icon, Junior English. Ladies and gentlemen, these are small clippings that I have of Junior English. And I just want to share it with you, to share to the world what a beautiful voice that we have lost. Take a listen. <laughs> get into the story of the legendary, the iconic Mr. Junior English. Junior English passed away at 12.49 p.m. at Ealing Hospital, the 10th of March, 2023. Junior English began recording in 1962 with Errol Dunkley for Prince Buster their first producer with the song called Faye is Gone. Written by Errol Dunkley, Jamaica's second child recording star in the 1960s. Errol and Junior were called the schoolboys by Prince Buster, who had got into producing with the generous help of Derek Morgan. The ska legend whom he asked for help in learning to produce. Junior English, my brethren, the Jamaican music legend, rest in peace, Mandingo says. Junior English, who was born Lyndon Beresford in Kingston, his singing career officially began in the first decade of the 1960s. He began his performing career as a child and recorded some of his early songs for producer Prince Buster in the early to mid-1960s, including Faye's Gone and My Queen, a duet with Errol Dunkley. He relocated to England in 1964, initially staying in Preston and then North West London, where he completed his official education. He joined the Magnets and went on tour with them in Europe after taking part in and winning a talent competition run by the Palmer Brothers of Palmer Records. He joined the Night Hawks after that and the group released the album Man It's Reggae in 1969. He resumed his solo music career the next year. He worked with producer Clement Boucher to create a handful of reggae tunes in the early 1970s. Many of the tracks on his 1974 debut solo album, the dynamic Juno English, which bore his name, were original and compositions by him. The great Junior English was published in 1976 after this, but 1978 was his most productive year. You also had In Loving You top the Christmas reggae chart in the UK that year. 
in addition to releasing the albums Crash, Win Some, Lose Some, and Naturally High. His career was successful during the 1980s, and he started releasing many of his latter works on the label he had founded, International English. He contributed to the song Let's Make Africa Green Again, that was included on the British reggae artist Onga Appeal album in 1985. In the 1990s and 2000s, Junior English continued to perform live and record, releasing cover version of Queen Majesty and Cruises, as well as the album Mr. Man. The single, Another Chance, which was released in 2023, was the outcome of the cooperation between Junior English and Dana Ains. This work was written and produced by Junior English. I just want to take this time out, ladies and gentlemen, and send my sincerest of condolences to Junior English family. I understand your pain, and I just want you to know that the world shares your loss. We understand quite well because we have lost a number of icons slash legends recently in Jamaica and to lose another icon slash legend in junior English is another tremendous loss to the fraternity. Marcia, thank you for sending me the first insight that we lost this icon. Big up yourself, Marcia. I know Junior was your friend and I know that you must be aching at this particular time. Mr. Jenkins, I know as a person who is involved deeply in broadcasting, you too, sir, must be aching. Not to mention the rest of us here in Jamaica. It is important, ladies and gentlemen, for us to live our life to the fullest. Junior English gave a full life. He gave a magnificent life to Jamaica. And to be honest with you, we needed more of him, but the Almighty saw it best to take him home. Farewell, great one. You came, you saw, and you definitely conquered. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Junior English reggae icon is dead. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet, Subscribe to my channel. Now is the time to do so. Thank you so much for watching.